for watching MR TV. I am Maria and this is Dr. Cowboy. Dr. Cowboy. All right. If you this is when I say it. Oh, that's just I have it. What is that? I just want to repeat it. Oh, okay. Is that okay? All right. And so, this is MR TV. All right. MR TV. All right. If this is your first time watching MR TV and Say it one more time for me. I thought you just said on that one. Dr. Cowboy. Then you, could, you know, we, we always have that problem when I do that. Uh, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. And leave us a comment. That's how we get to know each other. All right. So, today we are having barbecue grilled spare ribs. Oh, and I wanted some shrimp fried rice with it. So, that's what we got. Ribs and rice and gravy, and I had a Coke I was already drinking. Yeah, yeah, no need to, because y'all know I don't drink a lot. This is the best. I'll let it speak for itself. How many out there know about this? Hopefully she, not many. She dislikes that drink, y'all. Yeah. Ooh, anyway, so let's get our blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food we're about to receive. We inside Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get it. Woo, woo, woo. How are y'all's day going? I got a little ducky duck sauce. Let me put my plate up here for y'all so y'all can get a good little look before I get to tearing into it now. Can you see? Make sure you can see it now. Oh, wait. Why would I do that to y'all and I ain't even put no gravy on it? That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? Let me put that gravy on it and let it slide down the spine of that rice. How many of y'all like that like duck sauce? There you go. You got your shrimp fried rice. Okay. You got your ribs. It's another thing Ooh. she don't like. She don't like duck sauce neither, y'all. No. Nor do she like sweet and sour sauce. Okay. Would you like to tell them everything I don't like? Everything I like, she don't like. But hey, what you gonna do? Ooh, but anyway, let me get y'all a fork full. Let me get you a you fork full a fork. with the, a spoon full. Oh. Ooh, okay, come on now, please. Come on. There you go. Get this on with the shrimp on it. I'm doing all the gravy, thank you. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mm, mm. Oh yeah. How old was everybody's weekend? I know y'all wanted some with some duck sauce and sweet and sour and gravy, so here you go. Open up, mouthful, because that's what the doctor do. Always give you a mouthful. There you go. Get some ribs. I share. Mmm. 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 Oh, you bit one in, it almost fell. Calm down. Anyway. So, I guess, I, I don't know how I cook these. I put them on the grill. But I put them on the outskirts of the grill, not right over the coals. Mm -hmm. So they can cook or smoke, I guess. Is that what you call smoking? And then, after they did that, Put them on the, in the oven. Drown them in that barbecue sauce. And let them marinate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, mm -mm. I do have a topic. 
Let me get a couple more bites in for mm. The heat is turning people mad. Donald, uh, oh the doctor just saw a group of people fighting just out in the middle of the street. I, can we put a clip of that? Mm -hmm. In our video? Mm -hmm. Legally? Mm -hmm. Don't be saying it on, don't be saying on YT and Facebook. Well, I don't know who yeah. mm -mm. can or cannot. Mm -hmm. We'll get it later. Who can or cannot do that type of mm -hmm. stuff, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so we'll have a clip of it and put it in. Now, before y'all watch it, though, I want y'all to tell me in the comments, besides just them out the street going at it, what did you see was, a, was one main problem? But I'll let y'all tell me. Especially when you put it in the freezer and it got that little slush on it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all tell MR something about that. But not that. We talk about this all the time. You don't know nobody want to she said, don't nobody want none of that. Y'all leave it in the comments if you want to. Well, a few people. That. I'm going to say no, a few. No, 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 don't go back on your word now. Mm. Don't try to. Mm. Backstep. I know you all be going to say some things, but she she don't get mad at you. Just leave it on the comment. The doctor got this. I got your back. Hey, 
patty on back. Mm, hear that crack? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now for all y'all that watch me giving some of my fellow ranch handlers a little playtime out there. How did y'all like that? At the uh, ranch? That's right. right. There better not be no part of the door. I wanted him to get on the horse, but he couldn't. Mm -hmm. I had to go out there and get my, you know, show my fellow right time with some love. Yep. Mm -mm. And I love horses. So, I'm going to go back and ride it. Ride one. Too. I'm gonna see if I can say giddy up and then make it say oh, all right so stop it you know what now here's the topic <clears throat> As a parent, your child is about to get married. How much, how can I put this? But man, should you do? I guess, but how much do you think you should be involved within that wedding? You know, do you think you, as the parent, um, are responsible for making decisions or just leaving it to the two that's getting married? What do y'all think? Do you sit back and just wait for them to say, this is what I need you to do? Could you do this for me? Or do you kind of just go in and say what you want to do and, hmm. you know. Hope it don't backfire on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I say, wish them well. And let them know, you know, I'm there for you. Whatever you need me to do, just let me know, you know, what it is you would like for me to do. And then just step back. The rest is on them. What you think? That's pretty much it, you know. Mm -hmm. You tell them you're here if they need something. Yeah. You know. That's it. Not unless. Uh-oh. He always have a butt. I can never get through a conversation without him with a butt. Not unless you shoving out half of the cash. Now, your voice come important. Wait a minute. If so I'm, you saying if the parents shoving out half the cash, they got the right to say I the do's saying, and don'ts? No, I'm not even saying okay, that. Okay, I you need gotta, you to get a little clear with I me. I said then. your voice come important. You pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> you say important or no? I said important. Okay. Let's say I'm paying. For one hundred percent of the food. Okay. And I turn around and see you done ordered all chicken. <laughs> yeah, my voice come important. Well, that's because how you gonna just get all chicken? Well, in fact, you should have me sitting there with you when you go look over the menu. Oh, see, that's where you done messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? If I'm paying 100%, you, your I'm, gift to me is paying for the food. I get what I want as the the bride and groom. How you gonna decide what we have? I just say you side. Oh, what, what? I, you, 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 you ain't I'm listening. Try, you ain't paying attention. I'm trying. I really that, am trying. That that rib getting to your head or something? Cause you ain't paying attention. I said my voice come important. Then you said, oh, you get the pick. 
I said important. Then I said, I get to be there with you when you're looking over the menu. Then you said, oh, you get to say what's on the menu? I didn't say that. Well, I need you to get say something. I feel what I feel. Money talks. And all that other stuff. Oh, no. Get the so if you was paying for the venue, do you have some saying where that is? Yeah. Why? You are not getting married. Why am I paying for it? Because that's your child, be it the be it the son or the daughter. Maybe I ain't paying for it for that. Maybe I'm paying for it to have some type of influence or say over the matter. Did you, you tell me that when I took the money? I don't have to tell you. You know why? Because just as you know your child, they know their parent. And they know if they take a dime <laughs> from their parent, what the outcome going to be? Mm -mm. I need y'all to tell me. Mm -mm. If you pay, do you have say? I like that. If you pay, do you have say? And I ain't saying no big say. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying your voice should be heard over somebody that ain't shoving out a dime. That's my last piece, y'all. Go ahead, take a bite. <laughs> wow. That was your bite. That wasn't. God. Now, who did that? If you did that, you let me know in the comments because that was just like amazing. I swear to goodness, somebody better not leave you bit that in the comment. Mm -mm. Just like if you give somebody the gift of money, you don't determine what they're doing with it. Right? I mean, not in case they say, well, can I get $200 to pay my gas bill and then they don't pay the gas bill? That's different. But if they just ask to borrow $200, then I think we had this conversation before. You know, you have no say in what they do with the money. If you ask me for a ride somewhere, and I say, okay, you know, but I'm going to need a little gas money, you say, no problem. I'll come pick you up. You give me some gas money. Do you have the right to tell me which way to go to take you where you got to go? Just because I gave you gas money? No. As long as I get there. Okay. I don't care which way you take. Oh, okay. No, no. Once you hand something over, it's no longer yours anyway, right? I tell you that about yourself all the time. When you hand yourself over to me 17 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he just cannot stay on point, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think... It causes problems because you're already in a stressful, like anxiety high type situation. Everybody all over the place. And I think our job is to bring as less stress as possible to the bride and groom. I don't know why weddings and funerals seem to bring out the worst in people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just Is it just me? Do somebody else feel that way? Like, do weddings and funerals just bring out the nastier people sometimes? Especially funerals to me. That's the worst time, but we can't get it together. And I really hate to oh, mention God. this. Our, mm. our word. Our word. Mm. Our. Sometimes it have some things to do with your religion. Yeah. Because different religions are have a different belief. Right, yeah. you tell what you're saying right now to uh, the Greeks or the Italians. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, if anybody <laughs> that is Greek or Italian in the comments, let us know. You know, I like to ask. You know, 
No, you seen that. Are there, what are your beliefs? Anybody, it doesn't even matter. Like, what are your wedding traditional beliefs? No shade. I don't play no shade here. And just, you know, what is it? You seen that movie? What was that movie with the woman on? Um, it was Greek. The whole family lived oh, on the whole block. My, fat, my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> Tell them to keep their nose out of that. <laughs> That was the funniest <laughs> movie. My big fat Greek wedding. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. They took y'all? over the wedding. I demolished all these. Yeah, he did. That mean it was good. If he ate it. Let me say this real quick. Oh my gosh. We went to Red Lobster. And set in. Now, before y'all said anything, it was only like five people in there eating. It was more than five, about eight to ten. Okay. Days. It wasn't a lot. You know, maybe because there wasn't enough servers. I don't know. But anyway, everybody remember who eat Red Lobster. This is for people who eat Red Lobster. You remember three years ago? I'm going to go back three. Three years and up. When you went to Red Lobster, what's the one thing when you sat down to the table, you was excited to come to the table? You knew it was coming, you can't wait. Yep, it's the biscuits. So, we sat down, you know, um, we didn't ask for biscuits, because you normally don't have to. They didn't bring us no biscuits. And see them. Donald saw a table across the room. Oh, oh my goodness. I think I'm just going to change my name and maybe just, you know what I'm saying? The doctor saw a table across the room that had biscuits. He was like, they got biscuits. <laughs> and we didn't get no So, anyway, he had a problem with his drink. He didn't like his margarita. It was a martini. martini. I ordered a martini. Shake, Shake it, it. Not, not stirred. stirred. And she said, okay. And then what happened? She, she didn't even bring out the shaker. She brought it in the glass. And then going to have a nerve to tell me, oh, they don't bring out shakers anymore. What that got to do with <laughs> the C word? The, the, the demic. What it got to do with it? The shaker. He didn't get the shaker because of the demic. <clears throat> we didn't get no biscuits because... We didn't ask for them. So now, according to this manager, you have to ask for them. Okay? That's crazy. For what? I mean, it's the same thing. If two, three, four people come down, you bring the same amount of biscuits. And I'm going to be very honest. This is my personal opinion. I think they changed the recipe of them biscuits. It was not the same to me. And even you agreed like they didn't taste the same. And we were avid red lobster um patrons whatever we went a lot so we knew i ordered the same drink he pretty much ordered the same drink he might switch his up but me strawberry daiquiri, daiquiri every time with clear bacardi and whipped cream that's what i said to her came back no whipped cream and you know how when you get them daiquiris when they sit a while you get the liquid at the bottom yeah i already had that at the bottom so anyway we didn't say nothing uh she came back and asked how was the drinks and he was like <laughs> he was like it's horrible <laughs> you know sometimes he just i be trying to catch his words before they come out but sometimes they shoot right by me he was like it's horrible oh the manager asked you too was he kind because she had to get him because he didn't like his adult beverage and i guess they have to let the manager know he told the manager the same thing <laughs> Whoever made this, you know, but it's just not, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a good experience. I got the chicken Alfredo. It seemed to be watered down. Like it didn't have the same flavor. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they couldn't how they do stuff because it's not much traffic. I don't know, but I was so disappointed. Mm, mm, mm. Well, close it out, doctor. Thank everybody for coming. 
Have a good night. Or a good day, depending on when you're watching this. Mm hmm. That's it? That's it. Kiss the babies for me. I really don't even know what to. You know what? Thank y'all so much for watching. We truly appreciate you. And like I said, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us in a thumbs up. Leave us a comment on the topic as well. And y'all have a blessed day. Peace.